I need to go ahead and react to this, but yeah. Um, thank you. Uh, well, actually, it says Black on our line. But this is what I mean agenda wise. It's just more to make money. This black chick said that only white men appreciate her black hair. Not only is that not true. Yeah, I think I've reacted to this already. Not only is this not true, it's that your hair is just natural average. If you're going out with a guy who has to shave, cut his hair, or do something special to his hair, he's not going to appreciate your hair. You're going to have to do something to it. You're going to have to bring more to the table. What she's saying is that I can't just spruce up my hair and go out on a date with a high value person. So these are the things I have to react to. I'm going to go ahead and react to them. But uh, yeah, thank goodness I found a video of a woman actually pointing out the dumb things she's saying because it's getting to a point where it's just tiresome. Because look, don't get me wrong, people from other communities will stick their dick in black women, they'll have kids with them, but they won't respect them. And the thing is, is once the color thing wears off, you're dealing with a destructive woman. As an average black man who can't get any respect from a black woman because we're the same color, you're dealing with a destructive woman. And I'm just tired of the community suffering for it. I'm not even worried about myself. It's the future and, the niece, and my nieces and nephews. I'm worried about them. You know, them having to hear to this stuff. Actually, let me see. Let me go ahead and... You know why women today are so worried about men's height? Women today are so worried about men's height because they're either overweight or masculine. They're either overweight and or masculine. These are the women who worry about a man's height. Because if you're an overweight woman, you need a man that's bigger than you so you can feel small. You never, have you ever noticed that women who are fit, trim, and petite don't really concern themselves with how tall a man is? Not like, not like big girls. Why is this important? Because when women have a preference, they're, it's supposed, they're supposed to have a preference. They don't want to settle. Gentlemen, do not settle for a woman that does not allow you to use her. No, well, honestly, from what he was saying, not only is he correct, the fact that black men have allowed these types of women to use them is why we're so far behind. Now, right now, it looks like a recession might hit with the inflation. They keep trying to solve the issue, but money's tight. And it's during these times that depending on not only what you have, but also depending on what you have set up and different things, it's going to determine your outcome. And the thing is, is as a community, black people don't function well. We don't struggle well together. You have to be this super, have all this and the other in order for them to want to work with you. And again, it plays out pretty bad. But, you know, if we get if we get real, uh, what's the word? If we get real uh, <laughs> petty with the data and the information and the, and the statistics, it will literally prove what I'm saying is true. And the thing is, it's just men aren't willing to do that. But they're not motivated to do that for themselves. But well, again, in other communities, not a big issue, not a big thing. They're not going to be willing to try to or do things of that nature. Uh, well, really their own men and therefore their own community, but here in black, they'll do it. Um, there was a sports video I'm gonna have to find because in the sports video, they talk about essentially how they're pretty much uh, using black men as athletes, kind of as modern day slavery. And while I agree with that narrative, at the end of the day, you, you do understand that that's where this also comes from. Because I'll give you an example, and I'm going to say this as many times as I have to narrative-wise whenever it comes up, but my dad and everyone on his side is six foot and up. On my mom's side, they're short. I didn't get that. The reason why it was so important that I get that is sports. That's it. 
the reason why they get on uh, black men for height this that, and the other is monetization of you know, of that in sports that's it because they don't put anything else into the black community community wise and this is why whenever they try to point issues out and problems i'm like well the only thing you did was lay down with a man pretty much for those reasons what did you think it was going to produce in other communities they do a lot more but in the black community they're vicious to try to come after you for not being certain hide having money this any other but they don't build with anything else also it's telling uh black community wise if you do all that work and we still don't rise above those issues because I'm not allowed to put into really the next generation. I'm not really allowed to do any of that. Pretty much because of said what I have and what has happened. But from my experience, from me understanding how the high thing plays out and different things, I know that first of all, it's not insecurity, it's pattern recognition for me. And two, it's that it's disgusting because one thing i was actually upset about for a while was that i realized that the only way i could fix or even work on the community was by having a stable family because i saw stable families it kind of around me not in my immediate situation but uh, i had family members who were stable and they prioritized family first and they were the building block and people looked up to them you know, it, even though I come from the city, it's not all ghetto. But th there were some solid families around me. And one of the things that I realized was, of course, you have to be attractive. And one of the things that makes you attractive, uh, being tall. One, one plus one equals two. Uh, two plus two equals four. And for a while, I actually had an insecurity. Not, not a while, not a long time. When I was younger, I didn't care. Then, like high school, I cared. Then, now I don't care again. And it's really because they put uh, they put the weight of the community on you, but they will never be responsible or accountable for who they're fucking. And when it comes to this height stuff, they lay it on thick. Look I, again, I I would almost be privy to it if other people who try to hold black men accountable would hyper focus on what the black women were doing. You know, who who are they sleeping with? You know, if I'm going to be held accountable as a man for X, Y, and Z, then we should have, uh, we should have that data down packed. You know, if this is an emergency that <laughs> requires everyone's attention and everyone has to have input, then why not? Because the black women don't stop people from talking bad about the community unless it, it involves them, unless it involves the women in particular. But again, that survivorship, that detachment, it's been showing for a while and it's starting to show and it's starting to play out. And it's getting to a point where there are some black women who are like, well, technically, I don't need the black community to survive. And again, it shows for itself. I'm not making that up. But that's all I have to say on that. Oh, you heard it here first, guys. Go to commercial.